Roman Reigns recently returned, prompting many people to speculate about the potential reunion of the bloodline. This comes at a time, Trevor, where Raw just made, it, made a trade for Randy Orton, so he's coming over to Raw. People have to go over to SmackDown. Sami Zayn recently feels like he was written off of TV. Jay Uso's been, you know, where's my Uso? Where's my Uso? Jimmy, you know what's up, Uso? Like, even doing all that. <laughs> Trevor, what do you think, bro? Are, are we getting this bloodline reunion? Or is the OG bloodline coming back together? That's the rumors. And honestly, I kind of like them. <laughs> I kind of like them. Tell them, bro. But- so Tell him. Here's the thing, though, with, with the OG Bloodline. Sokoa was an OG Bloodline member. You, you know, you make a good point. Give me one second, but continue. He's an OG Bloodline member. So that's one of the things that's going to be interesting. But I did hear Zilla is, Zilla Fatu is, is in, in the ranks coming up. Dude, there's going to be so many Samoans. <laughs> I mean, the, 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 look, the, there's quite WWE a bit. in 2024, 2025. The, the, oh, God. There's quite a bit already, but. Yeah, but, dude, there's going to be way no, more. But, that, but, but it's good. I mean, like, look, they are, they have for a, a nearly a generation defined the business, or multiple generations oh, yeah, at this point. Absolutely. The business, I mean, but, like, yeah. I don't know of a time when of me watching wrestling, and it's honest truth, the time of me wa- watching wrestling where there wasn't a member of the Samoan dynasty in wrestling. Like maybe behind the scenes, maybe like maybe not actively wrestling, but I don't ever remember a time where I was watching wrestling. I've been watching wrestling since I was like what three, four years old. So like, damn, I was like I've eighty years old. It. It, it feels like it. <laughs> So, I mean, it's, it's, it's been that way for a while. Like, I mean, it, there's always been a Samoan in wrestling. Like, no matter what federation you look at, no matter what promotion you look at, there's always been a, a Samoan in wrestling. I mean, Jacob's been in wrestling for how long now? <laughs> Zilla as well. Like, all these guys have been, they're not new. They've been wrestling for a long time. Solo was wrestling independent or whatever. I saw a match with Solo uh, recently, and he, he was few pounds lighter and very young. <laughs> Jacob, man. Jacob got in a real good shape. And well, he did. He that definitely thing is did. crazy. They're saving him for Roman. Um, but I agree with you. Uh, back to your earlier point, because I did want to talk about this. You said Solo, you know, was the original member of the Bloodline. You were right, Trevor. Yeah. But I want you to take a quick look at this picture. What do you notice about That's Solo? True. I, I didn't. So the funny thing is, I noticed that before. Like, he's just like, I'm not having it. I'm not part of this. <laughs> Which was the same thing everyone noticed with The Rock putting up the loser side. Oh, wait, you think that's what they're building up to? Him acknowledging him and then going, oh, that would be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I mean, like, when, when you think about it, like, he and he did it every time. He didn't do it once. He did it every time. He did Could this. you imagine him just going, loser? <laughs> that would be <laughs> wild. <laughs> but I mean, hey, it's 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 gonna be fun to figure out exactly what what route they take because I honestly do believe that the Rock is gonna be a leader of the you know the silent leader of the uh, new bloodline, so to speak. And then you also, like you said, like I said, Zilla, you have Zilla Fartu possibly coming in. You have Jacob. Once he gets, once he gets healthy, um, still not sure exactly how hurt he actually is, but you know, so you, you got a lot of things cooking together because the Usos, Roman Reigns, and Sami Zayn, that's four. Mm, see, four though is is like just enough to you could get away with a war I mean, game four match. is enough for war, war games war, like, i mean it's war what games. we're leading to or anyway four I mean, is just enough for war games. i mean like you could do something you could, you could add in like you know hikaleo or whatever paul Heyman in war games would be hilarious <laughs> it's like, no oh, my tribal chief that's actually okay <laughs> i know that sounds corny and people are gonna like joke about it and, and make fun of me for it but if you want a way for the original bloodline to lose in this, that doesn't really like put anyone over, or that doesn't really like make anyone like pinned, you could have Paul Heyman in it, and then Paul Heyman be the one to be like, "No, no, we 
I surrender my tribal don't hurt my tribal chief because they got like Roman pinned up or something and they're like right, 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 torturing right. him it's like I mean you could I mean it's it's one of those things that is a great I mean it's a great story plot um a, a lot of a lot of wrestling fans wouldn't like it but it's it's a it's a great story plot I mean everyone everyone who's a uh, uh, mark thinks the greatest story right oh I froze. Here there we go. go. <laughs> Everyone in wrestling thinks every uh, Mark wrestling WWE fan thinks the greatest story in wrestling is Rhea Ripley and uh, Liv Liv Morgan. So you know, but <laughs> I, I mean, mean, it's a it, great, it, story. isn't it? Anyway, Bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no, like I mean, it's the the story. What you can do with this story is endless. Honestly, it. I mean, you just got to be careful not to overdo or undercut it, pretty much. Because one move this way, you can ruin it. And one move this way, you can ruin it. So, just got to, you know, do it do it smart. I still don't understand why Jimmy b- betrayed Jay at SummerSlam last year. That that part still makes no sense to me. If we're being honest, there are a lot of parts to this that don't make a lot of sense. I mean, a but- lot of it, though, like, I, I get like I get what they were going for. Or I get like what they were trying to do. It's just like that. I was like, what? What he after betraying Roman with his brother, he was like, no, nah, bro, no, nah, Oos, I'm the older Oos. What? Like, come on now, you gotta respect your elders, Oos. Like, like, what? You you were saying you were your you, brother Oos. protected you. Your brother like said you joined him, and then all of a you sudden you like first. I still don't get this. Jimmy Uso left first. Right. That's why. <laughs> He beat he he super kicked Roman like like back to like what is it Pensacola Florida wherever he's from. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Samoa, but anyway. Nah, nah. Hey, no. <laughs> oh, who do you think I am? I'm not Hulk Hogan. I ain't gonna say wild shit like that. And Pensacola Florida is not wild. <laughs> hey, that's where he's from. From Pensacola Florida. <laughs> but no, like it's. I mean, it's one of those things that. So every great story isn't great all the way through. It it has chapters that if you read a book, some chapters are better than others. Like, but all together, put it together, it's a great story. So like parts of it are eh, but it really was good storytelling with the blue. And it's probably the best story ever told in WWE. And I don't care what you mark say, it is it's the truth. How <laughs> have you know that? Val Venus versus Kyan Tai was the best story in WWE history. <laughs> choppy, choppy, man. Oh, we don't talk about it. Anyway, guys, hit that like <laughs> button, subscribe, hit that notification. <laughs>